The U.S. highway infrastructure was designed to help traffic flow, but as more vehicles make their way into the highway network, more congestion occurs. In fact, even without stoplights and other traffic control points, it is possible to demonstrate that a sufficient amount of traffic volume can result in stop-and-go traffic scenarios. What's new is the emergence of autonomous vehicles into the market over the coming decades. These vehicles are equipped with sensors to detect their surroundings, as well as precise information about the vehicles around them and their positions and velocities. Our research question is, how can we use a small percentage of vehicles in the traffic flow to improve traffic flow? In order to answer these questions, our research team is working hard on the fundamental science. Uh, for human-controlled vehicles, we can model them as having two different components. There's a follow-the-leader turn, which prevents it from colliding with the vehicle in front of it. Yeah. And then there's an optimal velocity turn, which allows it to, to tend towards the optimal velocity based on the space. For the autonomous vehicles, we can add in the control, which is based on the equilibrium velocity and how far it is from the autonomous vehicle's current velocity. So here we see the results of a computer simulation on the left. All the vehicles are human controlled. On the right, the blue vehicle is now an autonomous vehicle and it drives differently. So on the left, we're seeing that the uniform flow... Yeah, there flow it goes, right there, the wave has started. The wave is starting, so the uniform flow is unstable. We actually get a traffic wave, a stop and go wave in traffic. But here the autonomous vehicle is damping just enough to prevent that wave from passing through it and destabilizing the cars behind. Yeah, so the, the velocity drops to like 10 kilometers an hour, then it goes fast again, then it goes very slowly again.